Hi there guys, this is Casual Kiwi and welcome back to Feed the Beast Infinity. Um, I'm finally back from my holiday over to Ireland and, and the UK and England as well, so all these different places. Uh, blooming long plane ride, it was just about 30 odd hours from down here in New Zealand, so it was excessively long. Um, I wanted to crack into a bit more Minecraft, I'm, I'm chomping at the bit to be fair, I haven't played anything in ages, so um, really really looking forward to getting into a bit more gaming lately. Um, back to work tomorrow so not really looking forward to that but hey hey got it's got to be done got to pay the bills pay the mortgage look after the kids all those sorts of things um but this episode we want to crack on i have gone ahead and quickly made a new room so i've used some factory blocks factory blocks are really really cool i'll quickly show you how to make those uh if you just type in factory block like so and if you click on this basic one here at the top left it shows you that it's some smooth stone with some iron and hollow in the center so not too expensive and that there gives you 32 so they're quite cheap really and then with the chisel you can go chisel two you can go ahead and make all these different blocks which are really really neat so i have used a couple of different variations here this one here with the yellow black hazard because this is my industrial room what we're going to use this room for is i'm going to put a blast furnace in here from railcraft uh, because i need to get some steel because they changed the recipes on my blooming solar panels and i can't make them because i don't have any steel so i don't know why i came back in here but this by the way is how you make the blast furnace multi blocks so you need some soul sand some nether bricks and then some magma creams which are just a slime ball and some blaze powder put together will make a magma cream um, doesn't matter what sort of slime either you can use all them i've used up all my slimes to get what i've got here um, and that will go ahead and do that so i've gone ahead i've made the blast furnace blocks here so you don't really need to see that anymore what was I going to show you? I was going to show you something in my inventory, and now I can't remember what it was. Hmm. We're going to want some coal. Like so. We'll grab a stack. We'll put those two back. We've got plenty of coal, so that shouldn't be too bad. And I think we're going to want some iron. This stuff here. We'll grab a stack of iron as well. That's what I was going to show you. I was going to show you the solar panel. See, I can't actually craft these anymore. I've got a recipe there, but the recipe no longer works. I think I may have updated that to the new recipe. But, the leadstone solar panel now requires steel nuggets. Now, I can't make steel. This is actually a tough one. You can't get into the solar panels until you can make steel. And to make steel, you have to get to the nether. So starting out, it's actually a bit of a, bit of a tough one. Uh, I think it used to be iron for these, for whole iron bars. But um, not anymore. So we're going to crack on and get this thing made. There's a heap of stuff I want to do. I want to crack into making, why can't I use that? Making down here a cobblestone generator as well. And I also want to be able to pipe in cobble from my quarry. Uh, because the goal is to get it all compressed and make some quadruple or octuple, maybe octuple quintuple oh i don't know the top top level of um compressed cobblestone so that we can start looking to make some bedrockium ingots because we want to use that for all sorts of good things in the future so this here should give us what we need to make i think that is correct like so so are we going to have enough are we Ooh, we are. It didn't work, did it? Or is the... Oh, it did work. Okay, so it's just the fact that I'm guessing the interface is below the level. Yeah, so the interface is down below. So that's a bit of a pain. Um, I may... Yeah, let's raise that up one. We've got a hammer. Bugger. I didn't want to have to do that, but that's okay. Ah. Accidentally did that. We'll just throw one in there, and that will give us the power to do this and this. Get all our blocks back, and then we should just be able to go like so and like so. Okay, so we can throw with some normal cobble. Get rid of these torches. Boom, boom, and boom, 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 like so. So now we should be able to throw. Oh, that's not what I want to do. These guys back. 
and throw some more cobble down in here and we can start making this guy again okay get in there one so is it enough one two three four here yeah, four high so it's three by three by four to make the blast furnace and you just need to leave one block hollow in the center two blocks hollow sorry like so and now we have our interface so we have ourselves a blast furnace so all we need to do is we need to chuck that oh. Oh, we need cold coke, don't we? So we need iron, and I think we either need cold coke or charcoal. I think I have some cold coke. I'm not sure. I may well have used it. Oh, we have. Bugger. Okay. So we're going to have to duck back down. Thoughts. Oh, and this is full. Okay, so we need a tank. Hmm. <laughs> well that's a pain okay so that's full of coal we'll quickly top that up and then we need to how, what are we going to drain that into we're going to need some form of tank I don't really want to use open blocks tanks um, we'll have a look and see what we've got in our inventory here tank we've got a hardened portable tank that is already full We've got one open blocks tank, which I can't remember how much that holds. Doesn't really say. But there's all of them. So we've got a portable tank, we've got a hardened portable tank. The hardened portable tank holds 32 bucket, reinforced holds 128. So what fused quartz or hardened glass. Hardened glass is obsidian and lead dust. Uh, we could probably do that. We've got an induction smelter. We will just need a pulverizer. Hmm. I wonder if obsidian will work in the... Oh geez, we've got a lot of obsidian. I didn't realize we had so much. We'll do, ah, we'll do, sorry, half a stack, like so. We will chuck that through the sag mill here. Is that going to do its thing? It is. And I wonder if I can use that to put it in the alloy smelter um, from thermal expansion and make this hardened glass. Hopefully we can, because otherwise I'm wasting a lot of it by pulverizing it all down. We'll take some of that. And we don't need any more blast furnace bits. So hardened glass, what was the recipe? Hardened... Hardened portable tank, which was just invo around it. Sorry, where's the glass? Where are you glass? I can't even see it there. So is that, and pulverized lead or a lead ingot. Okay, so that's fine. So we'll grab 32 of those and we should be able to chuck that. Why can't those two go in there? Hmm. can't go in together which is a pain in the backside we'll take that that's fine we shall pulverize that ah bugger okay we need to disable that grab some of those we'll take that out and we'll see how that works Apologise that this is a bit of a muck mucking around. I honestly, Arr, it's not going to work. Okay, so we obviously need a pulverizer. Okay, let's throw together a pulverizer from thermal expansion because we need one of those anyway. Because we've noticed, I have noticed that um, I can't get any shiny metal from anywhere. So I really need 
a pulverizer to be able to get shiny metal so that we can make some tesseracts. So we need one of those, boom, flunk. We need a couple of copper gears, boom, one, two, like that. We need a machine frame, flunk. Ah, we need a basic machine frame. That guy, flunk. Of course, we need a gear. Come on, give me a basic machine frame. That one, that one, that one. Oh, that's not what we want. We just want some blue and iron, you fool. Like so, make a couple of them. And then this guy. Come on, basic machine frame. Almost there, team. That one, the flunk, machine frame. I'm going to make two of those while we're at it, just so I've got a spear one. And then we should be able to. Of course we don't have flint. How do we not have flint? Honestly, team. Okay, that's fine. We can get some flint. Let's bet there's a creep or something out here to blow me up. Sick of that happening. Really sick of that happening, team. Okay, we've got a bundle of flint there. Jolly good. Come on. Back in there. Really need to get back to a uh, making a quarry age as well. I think I'll do that off camera and get that all sorted. Okay, so pulverizer. This guy here, flunk, and we have ourselves a pulverizer. Nice. Okay, have we got power down here anywhere? That's what I want to know. We've got power just there. Got power on that side? We do not. Okay, so we'll get rid of that, throw that back down. Like so, and we will run some power over to there. So we need a conduit. Like, I think it's those ones we've got there to be fair. Is, and then boom, that guy should be filling with power, it is. Okay, so can we chuck that in there? That's giving us the exact same thing. Okay, so we will check on our obsidian. Grab just a quarter of a stack, like so. And throw that in there. And what is it going to give us? It gives me the same thing, which it appears to be thermal foundation 4628-4, 4628-4. Okay, so why then is the induction smelter not not accepting it? Okay, this is weird, team. Really, really weird. I'm sure it was obsidian dust, but I'm going to double check. Hardened glass is hiding there. We need pulverized obsidian from thermal foundation, pulverized lead from thermal foundation, and an induction smelter, or an alloy smelter. That there is an induction smelter. What the crap, team? Okay, the alloy smelter. Why is this not working? This is really beginning to bug me. Alloys only. Where's the rest of my stuff? Arrgh! 
Did I drop it in here? I did. So I could have done it in this all along, obviously. Ah, well that's fantastic. Okay. Harden glass. Harden glass. <sighs> Talk about driving you crazy. My god. I can't even remember what I was wanting the hardened glass for now. I think I was making a tank, wasn't I? What a pain in the ass! Okay. <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there in the end. I don't know how long that's taken. This video must be going bl blooming long now. Very blooming long. Okay, we'll go ahead and reconfigure that to push. That there's push in there. Fantastic. We've got lead. We've got some hardened glass. We can go ahead and make a flippin' tank. I wonder if we can grab our full tank from here and go like so. We can. Great. Reinforced. So it's 32 of 128 buckets is in it. Okay, so it is just a tank we shall. and see what the next year stage is. Reinforced is that. So resonant is enduring, which we can't do because we don't have ender pearls and we also don't have any blooming shiny ingots. But now we've got a pulverizer, we will remedy that. Boom. That's filling, that's starting to work. So we're gonna get some cold coke and we should be able to use this guy. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm going to use this for, to be fair, because that's going to fill that up pretty quick. How much have we got in there? We've got 64 buckets. So, it's going to fill that up. Hmm. After a couple of runs, we should get a bit of cold coke before that is full, though. We might have to make another one. But that's okay. We can do that. Be nice if the tank told you how much was in it. But anyway. Okay. Moving on. Okay, we're right at the top. Sorry, I'm a bit all over the place today. I do apologise. Um, getting a bit lost and confused of why that wasn't working. I still don't know why that isn't working in the induction smoke. Is it because it's the basic one? Have I done something completely derpy? I have no idea. It's got power. Yeah, not sure on that one. Okay, next thing's next, I want to start to make a cobble generator. So what I'm kind of thinking is we'll start with a basic one and we will put some cyclic assemblers. So we want to make a few of these. I'm going to just start with one for now. Um, so we've got a machine frame. We're going to need a couple more copper gears. Arr, copper gears, those ones. One, two like so. We're going to need another induction coil, reception coil even. Uh, we've got a couple of tin gears. We should have a chest. We should be able to throw it. We don't have a chest. Wow. Amazing. Would have thought we'd have at least one chest. Throw that together and we have ourselves a cyclic assembler. So we also need, with the cyclic assembler, we need a blueprint, I think it is called. Blueprint. Uh, this guy. No, not from BC Builders. Uh, schematic is what it is. You see a... No? You see... I'm sure it's SC. What is it? Floppy disk. That guy. SCH. Cool. So, flunk one of those. And then we are going to need, oh, that's not what we're going to do, we're going to need some buckets. Two should suffice, perfect. And we're also going to need some power cables, so we've got some of those. We're going to need to run some power down to there to be fair. Um, and we're going to need some lava and some water. We've got a pick, that should be everything we require for now. So we're going to head down to here, and that's going to go there, I'm thinking possibly along this wall, we might start by making a basic cobblestone generator. 
So we've got our two buckets. We want to grab a thing of water, a thing of lava, sorry. And if we go down one, we should be able to grab some water from that guy. And then we should be able to build a really basic cobblestone generator. Generator. So I'm going to one, two, three, and four, like so. And then we're going to go one, two. And then we should be able to just go kaflunk and by rights flunk like so and we have ourselves a cobblestone generator and I forgot a rather important part of this setup we need a transfer transfer node a transfer node and a world interaction upgrade so we'll go ahead and we'll get one of those made we need to eat something as well and probably drop some stuff off uh, we'll get rid of that coal don't need the buckets anymore and we'll have oh, steak I meant to keep that Steak. We don't need 47. We'll grab five, and that'll do us. We'll quickly have a munch. We'll sort out some form of auto feeding later on. Okay, so in here, what was I needing? I was needing a transfer node. Transfer node. So item node, that one there. We should be able to do it with a redstone block and some basic pipes. Uh, I wonder if we've got any basic pipes. We do not. Come on, those guys. No. Where are they? Sorting pipe, energy pipe, rationing pipe, sorting pipe, crossover pipe, transfer pipe. Those guys. Of course we don't have any of the stuff to make them. Some slabs, flunk, those guys can flunk some transfer pipes. Lovely. Okay, we need another chest, like so. And then we get ourselves a transfer node. Nice. Okay, so with that, we need a world interaction upgrade. This guy here, because if you just put it down and you don't put a world interaction upgrade on it, it will not uh, break the item under it. So you could use it on a chest or something like that without one of these, and it will suck the items out of a chest, but it will not break blocks. So we need to make an eye pick, boom, and one of these guys, boom, like so. Cool. So now we have everything to get a, a basic setup working. Um, it's not going to work very fast because we don't have any speed upgrades or anything in the transfer node, but it's going to do the job for now. So we'll go ahead and throw that guy on there. So if we look inside it, it's currently not doing anything. And then we'll throw the interaction upgrade on there, world, world interaction upgrade, and boom, all of a sudden we're getting some stuff, which is really, really cool. So what I'm going to do for a start is probably, hmm, I might just straight out throw that guy directly there like so. So that's going to start filling up, which is great. And then I'm going to put a schematic there. And I'm going to take nine cobblestone and I'm going to do that and then I'm going to click like so and that is going to go ahead and make one times compressed cobblestone now all we need to do is supply this thing with some power so that is going to be the next issue getting power to it um, hmm how are we going to get power down here? Really, what would be freaking awesome would be some form of um, tesseract or something like that to get power all the way down here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to run it all the way down a wall. Um, what I'm going to actually do, guys, is I'm going to pause this and check the time because I've been waffling on for a long time. We might have to end it here and carry on next episode. Okay, thanks. I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, I'm back. Um, yeah, it's I'm at 25 minutes already, so what I'll do is I will um, call it quits there. Next episode, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get some stuff prepared and have 
uh, the likes of that cobble generator up and running and starting to compress some cobblestone and working and things like that and then um, we'll see what we move on to we've got all sorts of good things all sorts of stuff that I want to move on to there's heaps of stuff to do in this mod pack so really looking forward to it um, thanks very much to all the new subscribers we've got over 150 subscribers now really really excited about the way the channel's going thanks very much really appreciate it see you next time cheers guys